Computer Graphics, Lecture Number 8, Color and Light Correction of the Editor Adobe Photoshop. Our plan of the lesson, number one, the concept of color and its characteristics. Number two, the system of additive type colors. Number three, system subtracting colors. And the number four, color model. There are some references of our lesson. Images that come straight from a digital camera aren't always perfect. As you start to gain more experience with Photoshop, you may notice some recurring problems with images that you'll want to fix. For example, some images may be too bright, while others may be too dull. For example, some images may be too bright, while others may be too dull. There are various corrections that can make your images look dramatically better. Some of the corrections will cover to in this le lesson include levels and curves. If you want to modify the tonal range if you, of your image, for example, by making the shadows or highlights brighter or darker, you can adjust the level or curves. Saturation. If the colors and in an image are muted or dull, you can increase the saturation. You can also reduce the saturation to make colors more subdued. Auto adjustment tools. If you are not exactly sure that Type of correction to make, Photoshop comes with several automatic adjustment tools that can improve your images. If you like to follow along, you can download some of all of our example images. Just click any of the images below. Uh, to open a full-sized version, then right-click to the full-sized version and select Save Image as to save it to your computer. Levels. Every image has a mix of shadows, highlights and mid-tones. Shadows are the darkest parts of the image, highlights are the brightest parts, and mid-tones are everything in between. When you adjust levels, you are adjusting these different tones. And while you could use the brightness and contrast tool for a similar type of adjustment, you are much less powerful than levels. Levels. There are many reasons to use a levels adjustment. For instance, if you have a particularly dark or underexposed image, you might want to make a mid-tone and highlights brighter while keeping the shadows really dark. You can see an example of this in the images below original image and the after adjusting levels. Levels. If you are never adjusted levels before, this tool may be a little inattentive at first. At this stage, the most important thing is to practice making different adjustments. As you start to gain more experience, you'll be able to use it more effectively. And remember, if an adjustment doesn't look right, you can also always uh, undo your changes and start over. To adjust levels, number one, in the layers panel as a layer levels adjustment layer. To adjust levels number two, locate the graph in the middle of the properties panel. This is called a histogram and it shows information about the shadows, highlights and the midtones of the image. In this example, you can see that there is a big gap on the right side with no information, which means the image is underexposed. You can use a levels adjustment to fix this. 
Number three, untie the input level slider just below the histogram. These are the controls you use to adjust the levels. Don't use the output level sliders near the bottom of the panel. Number four, because our image is too dark and exposed, we'll click and drag the white slider to the left. Notice how we're dragging the slider to the right most edge on the, of the histogram. Be careful not to drag the slider past this point if you begin to lose the style in your image. This is commonly referred to as clipping. Number 5. If the shadows in the image are too bright, you can click and drag the black slider to the right. In this example, we don't need to adjust this because the slider is already at the leftmost edge of the histogram. Number 6. Optional. If the image still looks too dark or too bright, you can click and drag the middle gray slider to adjust the mid-tones. In this example, We'll move the slider to the left to make the image brighter. 7. Optional. Try turning the adjustment layer off or and on to compare the new level's adjustments within the original images. This will allow to you to see exactly what the adjustment layer is doing. When you can make then any additional adjustments to the levels, you can see the example ne near at the pictures. Curves. The curves tool is similar to levels, but it gives you more power and controls shadows, highlights, and metals separately. Because it is a more advanced tool, you'll need to be careful when using it to adjust your majors. Curves. In the example below, you can see an image before adjusting curves. To the right, you can see the curve as it appears by default. This is how the diagonal line is perfectly straight. When you make adjustments with curves, you are creating uh, different curves with this line. Increasing contrast. One of the simplest adjustments you can make with curves is to increase the contrast. To do this, drag the curve down in the shadows on the left to make them darker and up the highlights on, on the right to make them brighter. Curves Decreasing contrast In this particular image, it might be better to decrease the contrast. To do this, drag the curve up in the shadows on the left to make them brighter and down in the highlights on the right to make them darker. In the image below, you can see that this makes it easier to see details on the sequel's face. Other adjustments. You could also increase the shadows without changing the highlights. To do this, drag the curve up in the shadows on the left. Notice how we use multiply points to gently bring the curve back to the default position. This helps to prevent the curve about affecting the highlights or midtones. This allows us to make the CQ brighter without darkening or lightening the clouds. To adjust curves, First, add a curves adjustment layer. Second, click anywhere on the la line in the properties panel to create a new point, then click and drag the point to adjust the curve. Note, by careful or not to move the two points in the lower left and upper right corners. It is possible to adjust this, but we recommend keeping them in the corners until you gain more experience with curves. 3. 
continue to adjust the points until you are satisfied with the result. You can also press the delete key or click and drag a point of the line to remove it. Color corrections. There will be times when you want to adjust the colors in an image. For example, you may want to modify the color intensity or even change colors for artistic effect. Color correction. Saturation. If the colors in your image are dual or muted, you can increase the saturation to make them look more vivid. You can see an example of this in the images below. There is the original image and after it slightly more saturation and even more saturation. Saturation. On the other hand, you can reduce the saturation to make the colors less vivid. If you remove the saturation completely, it will produce a black and white or grayscale image. You can see an example of this in the images below. Original image desaturate and black and white. Saturation. To adjust saturation, add a hue or saturation adjustment layer. Then click and the drag the saturation slider in the properties panel to increase or decrease the saturation. Color corrections. Vibrance. Increasing saturation can sometimes look a bit unnatural. One solution is to use a vibrance adjustment layer instead of hue or saturation. Vibrance lets you boost the saturation for the parts of the image that are less colorful without oversaturating the parts that are already colorful. Converting to black and white. As we mentioned above, removing the saturation completely by setting it to minus 100 will create a black and white image. However, this method doesn't give you much control over how the black and white version will look. For better results, you can create a black and white adjustment layer. Because black and white don't have colors, the tones, the different shades of gray are especially important. A black and white adjustment layers allows you to control how the different colors are mixed to create specific tones which can make a significant difference in the how the final image looks. Converting to black and white, we recommend trying different options from this preset menu until you find one that works well uh, for the image. You can then make small adjustments to the individual colors as needed. Also, adjustment tools. Some images may, may require more specialized corrections, which can be difficult to make if you don't have a lot of experience with Photoshop. Fortunately, there are several automatic adjustment tools you can use to improve your images. In the original image below, the snow has a bluish tint. After using the aftercolor comments, the snow looks white. Original image and the aftercolor correction. After adjustment tool. You'll find a new, a few auto correction tools, including auto color in the image menu. After adjustment tools, many adjustment lawyers also have their own automatic adjustment option. To use this tool, create an adjustment layer, then click the auto button in the properties panel, if available. There are some questions for you. Number one, the concept of color and its characteristics. Number two, the system of additive type colors. Number three, system subtracting colors. And the number four, color model. Thank you for attention. Nazarlanzgarahmed.